DM Science and Plants World presents about the racemose inflorescence based on the main axis shortened. The inflorescence is defined as a group or bunch of flowers that arise or originate from the branched or unbranched axis with a definite pattern of arrangement is called as inflorescence. The inflorescence are classified into many types based on the branching pattern, number and arrangement of flowers and some specialized structures too. The types are the indeterminate which is called as racemose, next one is determinate that is cymose and mixed inflorescence which is the combination of racemose and cymose infl inflorescence. Next one is the special inflorescence which do not confine any abocet inflorescence. The racemose inflorescence contains the central axis that is called as peduncle which bears the inflorescence that possesses the terminal bud which has the capacity to grow continuously and produces the lateral flowers that is called as racemose inflorescence. In racemose inflorescence, the olden flowers are placed at the base or bottom of the inflorescence and the younger flowers and buds are placed towards the apex region. Based on the growth of main axis, the racemose inflorescence is classified into three types. They are the main axis elongated which is already discussed one. Next one is the main axis shortened main axis flattened. In this video, we are going to discuss about the main axis shortened racemose inflorescence. Here, the inflorescence is found with the reduced growth of central axis that is peduncle. Based on this, the main axis shortened racemose inflorescence is divided into two types that is corim and umbel. First, we are going to see about the corim. Here, the inflorescence found with the shorter pedicellated flowers at the top of the inflorescence and longer pedicellated flowers are found at the bottom of the inflorescence. Yeah, pedicel is the stalk of the flowers which helps to attach the flower to the central axis that is peduncle. Here, all flowers appear at the same level to form the either convex or flattened top of the inflorescence. The example for the corum is Cecilpenia. In this picture, you could find the difference in the length of pedicel of flower. The flowers are buds that found at the top region has the shorter pedicel than the flowers that present in the bottom of the inflorescence. Next one is the compound corim. It is defined as a branched corim. Here the corims are attached to the one main central axis that is called as compound corim. Example cauliflower. This is the picture of cauliflower. In the first picture you could see the whole cauliflower and in the second picture you could find the arrow mark which indicates the branched corim which are attached to the one main rachis. Next one is the umbel. Here the umbel is an inflorescence which has the indeterminate central axis and pedicellated flaws which are arised from a common point of peduncle that is central axis at the apex region. Here the pedicel that is the stalk of the flower that arised from or originated from a common point of the peduncle and to blossom the flowers. Example Allium seba and this is the picture of Allium seba that is onion. In this two picture which one has the buds and another has the flowers you could find the stack of that is the stack of the flower that is the pedicel which originate at a common point of the peduncle that is the 
central axis and next one is the compound umbel and this is also as I said in core rim it is a called branched umbel here the umbels are joined together in a common rachis that is a primary rachis and each smaller unit of umbel is called as umbule example for this is coriandrum sativum that is coriander in this picture you could find the lower side and upper side of the coriander flower here you could find that the a rachis which has the common point from that the umbel arised from the umbel common point of peduncle the pedicel starts to rise the flowers are buds so this is about the main axis short-handed racemose inflorescence corium and umbel thank you so much for watching